political analyst John Danian here to discuss the latest on a sexual misconduct scandal involving Carl DeMaio. And I say latest because he's been accused before. Good morning. Yes, he has. Um, but again, with a little bit uh, more than three weeks left before election day, this clearly is like what I'm using the term game changer. It is a game changer. Now, is it questionable with these allegations coming up and the timing of it all? Yeah, the timing of this seems suspect, John. Have you ever heard the term October surprise? <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Um, it's, it's, it's certainly a little suspicious, but there's other suspicious uh, things, such as this has been known for a couple months. Why is it coming up now? So you, you can uh, argue both, both sides of it. Uh, clearly, the, the way it impacts the Mayo campaign the most is it gets off their agenda. The fact that national news agencies have picked this up. This has always been a national race because it's so important. It's one of the top five races in the entire country. But now this allegation charge is becoming the story and that's exactly what the DeMaio campaign does not want. And the accuser made it as far as being interviewed on CNN the other night, which like you said, John, gives it the national attention. It really, the campaign doesn't want it at this All point. the Republican leadership nationally is standing by him. And of course, they really don't have any choice, but they're standing by him. We did have the speaker out here yesterday. Um, I don't think that affected that fundraising because that was already scheduled, and this just broke this week. However, in the next three weeks, both campaigns, Peters and DeMaio, are really still concentrating on fundraising. As you know, it costs a lot of money in this race. So that what we're watching to see if this scandal affects the DeMaio fundraising. If it does, that could tip the race. And what do you think, this, John? Yeah. We see the numbers of uh, funds coming in for Demise campaign go down with this. Well, we'll we'll see on the next reporting period. There is one, you know, at least one more before uh, election day. So we'll 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 have to wait to actually see um, when it be, when it becomes public. But I mean, clearly this is not a good thing, and clearly there's going to be some people, at a minimum, some people that are going to you know uh, uh, back off a little bit. And now that's really what the question is: that some people, how big is that gap? And before we were talking about the latest scandal that's surrounding Carl DeMaio, he's been involved in a few others here in San Diego as he was going for, uh, going for the seat for the mayor's seat here in San Diego. And it's interesting on that previous one, uh, DeMaio's response was the exact same words that he's using now. It's a smear campaign. Um, but let's point out that on those accusations that were made before by one of his former council colleagues about improprieties, you know, in the council uh, restroom, again, nothing was ever proven. It was just an accusation. So, you know, we, we have to be fair on that note. W will this be proven? You know, we don't know. And will there be civil charges or criminal? We don't know. And I remember that scandal actually went away, John, that claim about DeMaio the restroom all of a sudden disappeared. And it, his accusers basically stopped, stopped really trying to press it. So, so it, it did raise a lot of questions. dirty politics at its finest? I wouldn't use the word dirty politics. I would say this is clearly part of our discourse. It happens. It always happens. Again, you want to know how this could help DeMaio is how he handles it in the next three weeks. Mm -hmm. if, if he, you know, puts himself above the fray and says, these are, you know, the policies I want to enact, etc. There could be a sympathy vote out there. You, you just don't know which way this is going to cut. And that's always the danger when these accusations come up. Now, John, going into this, this new scandal information, who was leading the race at that point, in your oh, opinion? Total dead heat. Uh, you know, they've done so several polls, the media has done them, the campaigns have done them uh, over the past months. I said, I could have told you the numbers months ago, it's a dead heat, it's always within the statistical margin of error. Uh, some, some agencies report somebody's ahead two or three points. Because of the margin of error, they shouldn't report that. They should say it's even because margin of error makes it that it could be the other way. And of course, congressional candidate, uh, Republican candidate Carl DeMaio vying for the 52nd Congressional District against Scott Peters. Scott Peters, first term incumbent. Um, Scott is trying to say, you know, I, I can work, you know, there are things wrong with Congress, I, I've already been there trying to prove it, and DeMaio's trying to, trying to say, Congress is broke, I can fix it. All right. We'll know political the answer on election day, John. Whether Coming up very made quickly. A, made a political matter. analyst yep. John Dadian, always a pleasure to have you. Thank Thanks you. for Thank being you, with sir. us.